Okay, uh, I'd like to call this meeting to order 6.30 p.m. Of, or 6.31 p.m. of the Walling, Wallingford ARPA Application Review Committee. I'm Mike Glidden, the Vice Chair. With me is Chris Regan, member, Jackie McNamee, member. Um, so we have tonight's meeting on Zoom. Welcome to anyone who's joined us. Um, for, the, for the benefit of the public that is here, um, unfortunately, you cannot participate or dis or be part of our discussion. We are just going to review the applications, but I appreciate you for joining the joining us in the meeting. Um, we're going to jump right into it. Before we do that, um, I'm just going to go over once again the evaluation criteria just for the uh, public that may be watching or is participating tonight. So there's 100 points that are available for a positive uh, or a recommended review of the applications. A minimum score 70 or an average of 70 is required for a positive referral to the town council. We are a referral board. We are not a regulatory board. Um, as for the criteria that we're grading the applications on are the following. For 30 points, we are looking at the degree of which the COVID-19 pandemic created or contributed or to, or to the demonstrated clearly described financial adversity that the business is experiencing. For 40 points, the degree to which the it is demonstrated the applicant's proposed project will assist the business in long-term recovery from that adversity and is not a temporary fix. But coming up with 15 points, the degree for which the proposed budget is the, of the, for the project is appropriate and supported by documentation. And lastly, for 15 points, the degree to which the proposed timeline for completion is reasonable and the project can be completed within 12 months. So saying that, we'll jump right into our first session of applications. The first one on the agenda, is RCP unlimited. And I don't know, does anyone have any comments on this one? This, for some reason, it looked familiar, like we may have reviewed this in the past. I don't, I don't remember reviewing it, but um, I did notice that there's um, not an accountant uh, profit, profit and loss, mm -hmm. and then no quote for the excavator. But I did like that he was buying it in Wallingford. Agreed. Yeah, the, the issue that I had the application Financials don't match what, what was on the applicate, what was uh, referenced on the application as far as um, uh, their, uh, their gross income didn't match anything as far as the financials were concerned. So uh, I am unable to support it at this time. So I guess we have two options then before us. Um, we could score it. And it doesn't sound like, because uh, I agreed everything that was said so far, it, it may struggle to get above 70, or we can take no action similar to what the others and ask, recommend that the council uh, get clarification of the financials that are provided. I'd support that. I would too. Okay. So I have a motion in that? I second. Oh. No. Right. Yeah. Hold on. Thanks. So I think this may work. I'd like to make a motion that the application for RCP Unlimited be recommended for further review of their financials by either the town or the consultant before being evaluated again by the committee. Does that work? That works for me. Second. All those in favor? Aye. All right. Aye. All right. We will move on to the next one then. Next one is R. Pelton Tools Incorporated. We have any, make sure I get that one up. Any comments on this one? No, it seems to be. Looking for a down payment on a new uh, or box used truck. box truck. Um, the business did see a COVID impact from a financial standpoint, uh, as uh, as documented uh, by both the financials and the attestation. Um, so this is a, at least from my perspective, um, this would be just a marginal pass. 
like to have seen in quotes, et cetera, but the town, you know, they'll, 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 they'll work out the details when it comes time to buy to get those quotes in the process of which mm -hmm. they could do the follow. -up. I agree. It would have been nice to see the quote on the, the truck, but like, just like you said, it's a marginal pass for me too. I passed it, but also would like to see the quotes on the vehicle. Um, I gave it a 75. 70 for me. 70 for me. So I'd like to make the mo a motion to recommend the application of our Pelton tools in the amount of $25,000 um, be sent to the town council for approval. Second, 71.62. Thank you, Jackie, my calculator. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. We'll send that one off. We're on to Showstopper Entertainment. So Showstopper Entertainment is looking for 13500 to enhance their offerings um, with the addition of things such as a photo booth. Uh, just scroll down here. A uh, new photo booth, uh, new camera, lighting, um, uh, and associated pieces uh, um, uh, for events, deep speakers, and controllers, miscellaneous, uh, et cetera. Um, so I have a little bit of an issue as far as the ask um, of 13500 well exceeds the amount of revenue that they had for the three years that we have to review. Uh, they did have, I, um, I'm not familiar with this business, so I'd like to hear your um, the, the, the commentary, et cetera, before making a recommendation or score. That was my thoughts too, that I wrote down, um, you know, how much they made 19, 20 and 21, and then their ask. So I had a hard time scoring this as well. Um, you know, I did like their application that they do do a lot for the town um, with all our town activities, but the ask just exceeds what they've made in the past three years. <clears throat> we stand. Yeah, I, I mean, I could say with my former WCI hat on that they did provide a lot of service to the town in the past, um, whether it's Celebrate, whether it's the all the events they, they provided entertainment. And I understand the, the concern that the amount exceeds what they're reporting on uh profit do you have any his history from the three year from the we only have the three-year look is, it, is there anything that you have going back five years or something that you can add some color to they are a longer term um you know obviously from the the information provided it's the business that's been in existence in town for what 11 years right, right. um they have provided, you know, some of the entertainment components of the town events for several years. This is not like someone who's just suddenly started getting the contract for, you know, some of the activities that celebrate, et cetera. So they have been a local business that's been around. I think maybe one thing that, you know, not to get off our, our, our jurisdiction is, you know, some of the things that they're asking for. Unfortunately, the reality is that those prices have doubled, tripled, et cetera. So that's I think that's the, the 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 tough balance with this at this ask is yes if you look at the numbers of what they're doing for profits versus what they're asking you're like this is like four times what they make um however it is a business that has been around for a while um and and definitely unfortunately the the current you know the the climate of the reality of events i mean for example uh, celebrate was canceled um so for two years, you didn't have Celebrate. Um, you had a re reduced version, and it wasn't up until last year, really, that you're back at full full swing. Um, same thing with the other town events that they were participating in, which is kind of similar to parties, et cetera. So that's a, I actually passed this. It's a slow pass at 70, but um, that's how I was looking at it. I know, and I was looking at the, the, the nature of the business, which is a little... It's different. Um, sure. I mean, really, it's a it's it's a judgment call at this point based on. I mean, the, the guidance doesn't tell us either way. 
the dollar amounts that are clearly outlined in each of the individual categories seem reasonable. There's nothing there that is not um, uh, approved by ARPA and based on um, you know, the fact that they did have our last rough couple of years and getting back together from a COVID, I'd give it a 70 as well. I gave it a 70 as well. So that's a 70 average. That's a passing score. Right. We're all ready. So I'd like to make a motion to recommend the application of showstopper entertainment in the amount of 13500 be sent to the town council for approval. Second. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, Steve, you're all done. All right, moving on to uh, Silk Cotton Spa. This is... I mean, it's a it's a salon spa. So, you know, 2019 they made fifty thousand, twenty three thousand, twenty one, fifteen thousand. They're asking for twenty five. They did receive PPP twenty four hundred in EIDL three thousand. Mm -hmm. um, they're looking for training, wages, supply, cleaning, and equipment. Um, I, I did give it a low pass, um, but I did pass it. So again, business that's been in town for seven years. So there is some history associated with it. There isn't a whole lot of detail as far as what they're using the funding for, um, training and wages, you know, public safety, you know, COVID issues, keeping the business open, you know, it, 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 et cetera. I mean, if this business is on the brink, um, which I can't ascertain by the financials. I, I um, the profitability isn't just isn't there. Um, you know, I, I probably give it a 65 at this point based on the application put in front of me. Yeah, I, I was the same because um, you're right. I, I just, I don't see what I'm struggling with. You know, I, I think we can get, if you if you go to the the evaluation criteria easily the first the first uh, the first category that's a thirty easily. Right. But what I'm struggling with is is the next really the next two. Um, I'm really struggling what how to say that this is a permanent fix and not a temporary band aid to a, basically a sink or I I don't want to say a sinking ship but I mean no. it's right. clearly a business that's struggling. Right. And, is this something that's going to have a long-term effect or is this, is this, like I said, we're really, you know, trying to uh, uh, fix something that needs stitches with a Band-Aid. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like, so we got a, Jackie said it's 70. 66. Yeah. 66, six. Okay. So I'd like to make a motion that for the application of Silk Cotton Spa um, be recommended to the town council for no further action. Second. All right, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. Now we're on to Saran's Thai Japanese restaurant. So we have a business that adapted to um, mostly delivery while keeping, uh, staying alive, but shifting to a delivery model um, who has, um, you know, service the community. We've got uh, components of additional um, increases in rent. We have uh, a need for uh, equipment. They've outlined at some point uh, new locks, uh, prepping tables, refrigerator units, ice making machine, working tables in the kitchen, uh, et cetera. If none of those have been uh, purchased, they do seem to exceed the amount that is requested in the form of 25000 And I would at that point pass it with the 72, if, unless anybody has other color. I passed it with a 73. 
I passed it with a 70. So it passes. No. 71 no. six. So I'd like to make a motion to recommend the application of Sarah Nan's Thai and Japanese restaurant in the amount of $25,000 be sent to the town council for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right, we are on to Smitty's transmission. So Smitty's has been in Wallingford for 22 years. Um, they are a repair shop for just about anything with probably two or four wheels um, that had a significant um, shutdown or slowdown in business uh, during the time. They have received significant amounts of uh, PPP loans as well as grants in order to keep the uh, the business in uh, in play. Uh, this is one where uh, the financials do not um, reflect the, the the application dollars do not reflect the financials in this. Uh, so you need to do a a, a, a a deeper look at the actual financials in order to do a, uh, a more complete application uh, review from what I have seen. Uh, 2019 gross sales 253,000 with a slight loss. 2020 um, or, sorry, apologies. 2020 was a 237,000. Again, with a loss, they've only reflected the loss on their application and not the top line uh, uh, gross receipts of, uh, of sales in those. For the request amount of $6,100, very specific uh, for an equipment need, I would give this one uh, a, a, a medium high pass. Personally, I would score it at, a, at an 80, actually. I also yeah. scored it in 80 for the same reason. Their ask is 6,000. They've been in business for a really long time. And yeah, they provide a good service to our town. Agreed. Agreed. I think we're all on, on page on that one. I would, everything that's been said, and I also would give it an 80. Like you said, it's a mid pass. It's a decent application, just that needed to further review in order to really understand the financials. Right. So with that, what's the number? 80. 80 so, knows. I'd like to make the motion to recommend the application of Smitty's automatic transmission in the amount of $6,100 be sent to the town council for approval. Second. All right, motion made and second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we are on to Sorrento Woodwork LLC. And I actually got that one up in a timely manner. This one is a... It's a revitalization yeah. Yeah. project. Um, and they do provide a quote specifically for one of the items that they're looking for, which is a Grizzly 43 inch, three phase double drum wide belt sander. Um, <laughs> Say that three times fast. <laughs> never knew that that, that was a thing. Um, so, so going through that process, um, they did see, um, you know, from a, from a revenue standpoint, they've been steadily increasing the amount that they, um, you know, from profitability and taking a look more fully at the financials. Uh, what the what the uh, income loss is for 2020. Um, you know, they're, they're from a financial standpoint. I, I think this is. Um, a pass um, 
you know, but just barely. I mean, they have maintained the profitability number. Um, they do have uh, longevity. Uh, they do have a need for equipment to maintain and keep people employed in the town, et cetera. Um, so I think this would be a good use of the funds. I'm in agree. The application was thorough. They had the quote. Um, my when I told mine, it was it came out to seventy five. I have a seventy two, and I had a seventy five. All right, so I seventy four. Okay, so I'd like to make a motion in the. I make the request to recommend the application of uh, Sorrento Fine Woodwork in the amount of $25,000 be sent to the town council for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. All right. We're moving on to Sunny Nail, Sun Nail and Beauty over in East Center Street. This is a personal service that was shut down, as we all know. We've heard with several. Um, they are requesting $25,000. However, um, if you look, they, they're looking at rent, utilities, business supply materials, and employee salary as the budget that they're asking for. Um, it, they definitely took a hit while they were shut down. Um, I just, you know, this is something that um, I think the influx and go into the financials, this may assist with kind of stabilizing this business. Um, does anyone have any comments on this? My only one is it as long as it's rent for the future and stuff for the future and it's not the back pay. Agreed. So that was my only concern. Um, yeah, I mean, the, the Yeah, I I would I would uh, I, I think I'm I'm at a seventy on this one. I gave it a seventy as well. The same the same man. easy seventy all around. So it's seventy it passes. Do we want to consider just? I know that it's it's already a, a condition that you can't use it for back pays, et cetera. Do you want? Do we feel we need to put that as a condition on this, or just simply? Well, they got if, if, if from a salary standpoint and everything else. I mean, you, you're not floating. Um, they're, they're trying to maintain jobs mm -hmm. using for salaries. If there is a, uh, you know, we're not new hire. We're not doing job descriptions um, for those things. I don't know that any criteria that we can put around this, mm -hmm. other than detailed. Um, a, a more detailed accounting of how the funds will be spent in order for um, Janice and the town to get to a, a, a point to say, you asked for this for this, this is what you spent it on, done, yeah. approved. No, I could speak to that because I've been having those conversations with Janice recently. And she is, you know, let's say, for example, this application, she's going to say, Give me a copy of rent. You're going, this is X dollars going for rent payments. I want to see, and then I'm going to tell you that's how long the, this payment goes for, you know, and you're going to have to demonstrate you've used it each of those monthly payments, however long it lasts, based on the number they provided. So, right. And I mean, as we've seen with these applications, there's a tendency to, you know, to round up to make the numbers. Um, even that, you know, if that's not the case, you know, utility bills are variable going forward, obviously supplies and materials, there'll need to be quotes, et cetera, from a salary standpoint. I don't know that there's any criteria that we need to put on the recommendation at this point. I'm good with that then. Why don't we okay. Okay. Yeah. I so, so you got a, a move for a positive referral? I'd like to make a motion to recommend the application of Sun Nails and Beauty and the amount of $25,000 be sent to the town council for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And we move on to Supercuts, another personal service business. This one they wanted to put, they wanted to use the money for new computers, printers, Self-service kiosks, yeah. cash drawers, things to keep the business. I mean, it's dated. 
if you walk in there. Um, okay. There's obviously an uplift, etc. Uh, it was dated five years ago, um, <laughs> and they talked about the the lifespan, you know, ten years plus on on, on some of their systems, etc. Um, I would assume the owner owned the franchise, uh, owner owner run and owned oh yeah. Uh, franchise, you know, for the Supercuts name. Obviously, they've been in business. Every time I drive past I Road, Ives Road, uh, there's people waiting to to be serviced in those chairs. So, mm -hmm. uh, this is a business that has some longevity uh, in town as long as people have hair. I agree. Yeah. I gave it a seventy-five. Seventy-five for me as well. Seventy-five for me. It's easy and. Keeping the calculator away. All right. So I'd like to make a motion to recommend the application of Super Cut Swallingford in the amount of $25,000 be sent to the town council for approval. Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 All right. We move on to the cheese truck. And I apologize because the cheese truck was not upvoted. And thank you, Janice Small, for sending it to us. Janice or, or, um, well, Claire, really, but Claire. Well, so um, just to add some commentary, all of the items. So, so the business has only recently rooted um, mm. it, it, itself here in a storefront. The purpose of the applications were to acquire funds to help them to build out and open up a store, which they have done recently. Mm -hmm. So I don't know that the use of funds for this application um, is, is still valid. I mean, they are, there's lines out the door um, every time that I've been and waited in line. Um, so I don't know that, that the, the, there's an alignment of what they're asking for versus what they've already got and put in place. I mean, they say in the application, they're trying to open up early spring. Um, they just opened up within the last month mm -hmm. or, or, or so. So, it, yeah, it, it's funny. You pick, I mean, I live right on the corner in Pomeroy, so you're right. right. I've seen the wines, et cetera. But more importantly, what I was struggling with is that, is this a reimbursement request? Because I thought that we can't do reimbursement requests. It has to be a project that you're going to right. take on in the future. I mean, and they also have a EIDL loan that's outstanding for seventy-two thousand. That's something called seventy-three thousand. That's currently being repaid. So I, you know, with 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 that, with this point, I mean, we I I wish them well, uh, but I don't know that the, this is an appropriate use of funds for um, this program. So my my question was also that they've only been in town for a year. Now the application says a year, so it's supposed to be three years. But now, it, they have to be an established business. First, yeah, which so they, they were incorporated. The oh, yeah, okay. they, they were incorporated in town in 2018. Okay. And actually, for almost what they purchased that building. Who? It, it, it was just around 2020. I think they purchased that building, okay. and their cheese. They were operating the cheese trucks out of. I can only say this around the corner, and we were all asked all in curiosity how it was going to unfold. Um, but they have, you know, documented they've been in operation and a business in town, although it was a food truck since 2018. Um, I would, I think this is one of those ones where I struggle with this is that um, part of me says, let's score it and let it go. The other half of me says, this one kick it to the council to say, you know, based on our read, you want us to score it, we'll score it, but it's not going to pass because a lot of this act, a lot of these activities have already been completed. Right. I don't know what's. Do you want to score this one or do you want to punt? Um, I mean, I can make a motion that for the application of the cheese truck. LLC be recommended be recommended to the town council for further review. That's okay. okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 
We'll move on then. Okay. We are on to the eatery. So the eatery is requesting I mean, there's clearly an economic impact. Um, they're asking um, their revenue between 19, uh, 2019 and 2020 stayed fairly flat. 2021, they've seen an increase. Uh, what they are asking for the funds in the amount of $25,000 is to the service, maintain existing equipment, refrigeration, et cetera. Um, as well as do upgrades for the equipment to uh, allow uh, efficiency, serve customers better, and less strain on uh, overextended staff. Mm -hmm. uh, they do outline um, uh, refrigerated work tables at a cost of 5000 each. Um, they have asked for a you know, looking to fund one to two. So the question on the work tables is it's two to three at 5,000 a piece. So that's 10 to 15,000. They're looking for two new panini presses, convection ovens, either one or two at $2,000 a piece. So we're at 19,000 there and they're looking for upgraded point of sale. Um, software. Hardware and software for about a thousand. So that's 20,000 right there. If I if the math is right, uh, fifteen thousand, call it three work tables, four thousand, call it two of the panini press slash convection ovens, or bringing it to nineteen thousand and the additional one thousand dollars. So I think they're also. I mean, the request is is actually twofold. It's upgrades and new equipment. And then it's maintain existing equipment. Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine that the cost to maintain the refrigeration units, et cetera, be around five thousand dollars. Bring in the total application of twenty-five thousand. I think I'd score this at a seventy. That is seventy. Yeah. I scored it a seventy-five. And I'm with seventy-two. Did you say 70 or 72? 72, 72, okay. sorry. Uh, 72, three. So I'd like to make a motion to recommend the application of the eatery in the amount of $25,000 be sent to the town council for Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. <laughs> All right, the application was sent off. So we're down to the last one for tonight. A therapy for language and communication LLC. 80. 80. 80. <laughs> the total's 80. <laughs> I'd, like, I'd like to make their no, I mean it's a much needed service. They do good work. They're they here. do great work. So yes. that this is not a, I, you know I'd like to make a motion to recommend the application of therapy for language and communication LLC in the amount of twenty five thousand dollars we sent to the town Second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So that is the end of our agenda. And so um, at this point, um, I was planning on circling back with um, Janice Small next week or probably tomorrow or Friday and kind of look at what we have left. Because I think we said we're going to meet next week if we still have anything outstanding to wrap up because we are done with the businesses now oh, wow. except for the except for no, those that we have table uh, action no 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 we did we do ultra coin words on wood i don't recall doing words on wood hmm. tim sway we did ultra coin one and two i seem to recall we did touch that wallingford wine and spirits we we did wallingford wine and spirits <laughs> Words on wood. I don't recall that we've ever done that. I did miss one. So, 
Yeah, she didn't have that on the list of, of outstanding. So we can do that in next week along with anything out. I know that one that was pulled to the agenda was Porto's and she's going to be reaching out to them to talk to them about their issues, which is not related to our application at all. Um, and then we were going to circle back. There was still um, uh, Front Porch Brewery, Brewery may actually be closed. So therefore they may name, they may not be eligible. She's supposed to talk to them. Okay. Um, that's why they didn't pop back on our agenda after we tabled it. Um, and there was one other one uh, we were waiting on. So, I mean, we probably have, let's say at most like 10, if, if we really stretch it, depending on if there's still anything outstanding. Six. Yeah. What day, what day did we agree to, do you remember for next week? Tuesday, June 6th. 6.30, room 315, Town Hall. You want to do a Town Hall? You want to do a Zoom? It's your call. I mean... I'm, I'm here. Gonna... I'm here next week. So, except for uh, Thursday. Um, I, I leave Thursday for a couple week vacation, so... I mean, I can see if uh, 315 is available on Tuesday. If not, we'll just pop on Zoom. Perfect. That's, That's good. Okay. It'll take us all longer to drive there. I, yeah, I mean, I, I'm okay with going with doing this again on Zoom if you're if both of you are okay with this. That's fine with me. Okay. Good with Zoom. All right, so that's all we got. So I have a motion for adjournment. Second. Who made that motion? I'll make it. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We are now adjourned. Thank you. All right. Thanks. See you guys. Have a good night. You too. Bye.